So where will Palantir be in three years? I believe fundamentally a lot higher. This is the monthly chart. Just want to point a couple things out. We had a bottoming out process, accumulation phase back in August of 2022. And the reversal pattern was a rally in price, three basin candles, and then the rally out. And on the way out from this monthly buyer's level at $8, price formed a daily buyer's level, which we'll see in a minute. But big picture, we had a similar pattern. We had a rally base, rally out, price hit resistance, which was support in the past, pulled back, gave buyers an opportunity to get long. However, what was happening at these levels was smart money was just accumulating shares, which is why price kind of meddled in this area for several months. What happened, we had a rally out. We didn't take out, we didn't close above this band, and so price retreated until eventually price, the buyers, just beat up the sellers in the process. So here's the pattern that I'm looking for. We need to take out this level. So the pullback is warranted, and you would want that, as price doesn't go up in a straight line. You have impulses, move pullbacks, impulses. So this is the pullback. Again, support, resistance, support. So where would Palantir be in Palantir will be in three years? Let's look at this article. So it's one of the more polarizing stocks in the, in the market at present. It has been a very strong performer over the past year, up 150%. And we saw that by just looking at the price action on the monthly chart. Now the bearish case for Palantir largely centers around its valuation and current growth rates. The stock currently trades at a forward price to sales ratio of just under 19. If Palantir were growing its revenue at a breakneck pace, the valuation could be easily justified. However, the company grew its revenue by only 17% last year. Now looking ahead, the company guided for full year 2024 revenue to be 2.62 billion to 2.668 billion. That would represent growth of 19% to 20%. Now, the company rose to prominence with its data gathering and analytics platform that helped U.S. government intelligence agencies track and fight terrorism and helps with other mission critical tasks. Now they're branching out into the um, public sector. Um, and so that's where I envision they're going to um, drastically boost their, their revenue. So more recently, Palantir announced a partnership with Oracle, whereby Palantir's AI and decision acceleration platforms will be deployed across Oracle's distributed cloud platform. Oracle's cloud platform is growing quickly, so it should help drive growth for Palantir. However, Oracle's cloud services segment is still much smaller than the big three. That's Azure Web Services and Google Cloud. So Palantir can boost its revenue growth to 30% this year and next year before returning to 25% growth, revenue growth in 26 and 20% in 27. The company could generate revenue of about 4.7 billion in 2026 and 5.6 billion in 2027. Given Palantir's strong moat and unique technology, stock could command a slightly higher multiple than that of its company peers. While Palantir should see a lot of volatility over the next few years, by the end of 2026 it should Trade close to where it does today. No, nah, that's not happening. That's not happening. So this is the weekly chart, right? You could say we're setting up for a bullish flag pattern, which is part of that pullback before the impulse move higher. Going to the daily chart, you can see we did get a slight bounce off the top of that band. It also is touching the 100-day moving average. 
And so what we need to see, if price is going to go higher, we need to see price close above $23. And if that happens, then potentially the reversal is in progress. However, if price is going to go higher, we need to see a close on the weekly chart above $26. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.